Come on! Again, I'm so tired of this. Return from whence no, nope. nope. that's it. You that's it. That's it. Stay. What's up, my friends? It's national break and nothing to do really. So uh, I'm uh, just here playing, or at least try to enjoy myself playing uh, Dark Souls 3. If you don't know this game, you should probably check it out if you want uh, to be depressed for the rest of your life. Dark Souls 3 is probably for you. Alright, let's go. Um, Sister Frieda, now that's a badass of a boss in this series. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely impossible to kill, at least for me. I know I've, I've been trying for at least... Um, yeah, I don't know, for at least two weeks. And uh, no matter how much I level up, it's still absolutely insanely difficult. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just... Yeah. All right, part two. Let's see if we can beat her now. I've been trying this for weeks, as I said, and it's absolutely impossible. But maybe today will be the day I can actually feel good about myself. <laughs> Alright, part three. <clears throat> this is actually not quite bad. Probably get my guess, get uh, my ass whooped yet again for the one millionth time. Uh, better stay away from her this time. That's actually quite good. I might just do some. No. Nope. 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 Stop. Doing that. A little help here would be nice, huh? Come on. <sighs> yeah, there you go. And this has just been a story of my, uh, yeah, last week or so, at least with this boss. Sister Freed is a badass for real, and yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. Anyway, FIFA 18 is out. Now that's good news. You know what? I'm not gonna play this anymore because it just it just drains me for my energy and uh, yeah, it uh, affects my self-esteem and yeah, it's just just uh, just depressing playing this and uh, losing every time. So let's check out FIFA 18 ratings for Juventus players and uh, if they deserve it or is it too low. And before I start, I just want to let you know guys that I will not be buying FIFA 18 this year. Why? I will let you know at the end of the episode. And you must might ask yourself right now, how are we gonna go through the player ratings for Juventus if we don't actually have the FIFA 18 on the screen? Well, we kinda do, cause uh, easports.com have their own database online with every player and every rating for that player. So I'm gonna go through that on easports.com and we'll just see if the guys deserve the ratings they got from this year's edition. Now this is eSports.com, uh, we go to Ultimate Team and we go to FUT Database. And here you can search for every single player, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that just yet because uh, we need to uh, clear out some filters, because uh, yeah, I, I don't want to see any inform uh, stats or anything because this is just uh, live changes of ratings, but I, don't want, I just want to see the standard ratings of the player. So what I'm gonna do is I go to player ratings and I'll just do, no, sorry. I'll just go to quality, and I go to common and rare, and that's it, filter. And I'm gonna do the usual, uh, yeah, FUT uh, logo, cause that's much more fun than that. And you can see a bunch of players here. 
And yeah, um, let's start with one and only Paulo Dybala. What does he have? 86 pace, 91 dribbling, 67 in physique and 81 passing, 85 shooting. Um, that's quite on point actually, uh, if I might add. This um, yeah, pace might be a bit overrated, I'm not sure that he's that quick. Um, and uh, yeah, defending 24, yeah, that's about right. He, uh, he rarely defends and uh, yeah, and if he does, he doesn't do a really good job. Uh, physique 87, well, that's because he's so small, but uh, his uh, balance is actually quite good. So yeah, 87, yeah, no, 67, sorry, is just about all right. So 88 in total for Dybala as a center attacking midfielder. I'll give a thumbs up for FIFA for that, it's uh, spot on in my opinion. Let's move on to uh, Gigi Buffon then. Well that would be interesting. Well Gigi has 89. Wow. Uh, I'd say he, uh, he increased a lot since last year. 90 in positioning, 89 in diving, 74 in kicking. 49 in speed, well that's not re even really relevant, but uh, yeah, it's actually spot on uh, from FIFA, I gotta say, uh, I don't have I don't have much knowledge of uh, goalkeepers and what they should have, but yeah, 89 for the greatest goalkeeper of all time, well, let's go for Alex Sandro, there he is, bunch of other guys, and... Yeah, um, wow, <laughs> again, very generous from uh, from FIFA, I gotta say, uh, 84 in physique, uh, 77 passing, I bet that is most of it is crossing, because he's wonderful at crossing, 86 in pace, wow, 81 in dribbling, yeah, uh, that's kind of generous, I think, um, might just be too much, I'd give him a 79 or 78 or something. Uh, defending 81, well, okay. Shooting 65, yeah, he doesn't score that much, but uh, yeah, he has some headers, but nothing um, sp too spectacular. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay, it's okay. Now, what I'm what I'm interested in right now is Stefano Sturaro. How much? Yeah, <laughs> how good is he actually? Sturaro. 77 79 in physique well that's okay 74 in defending wow that's probably overall because uh, yeah it's in tackling uh, that's quite quite okay from him uh, but 74 in defending nah it's too much FIFA that's way too much 76 in dribbling are you kidding me? 76? I give him a 40 or even 35. 76 in dribbling? Sturaro? Ah. 73 in passing? I'd give him 65 at most. And 77 in total? Wow. Whew, they got generous. Yeah. Champions League final is granted, but still. 77 for Sturaro. Come on. Whew. Now, if they got generous with Turaro, check out my boy, Lichsteiner. 82. 77 pace, well, 73 in passing, 80 defending. Whew. Wow. 75 at most for me. 76 in dribbling. I I'm sorry. Stefan Lechstein dribbling and 76? 50 or 60 most for me. Wow. Now, I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, did we pay something to uh, EA Sports for that? Because uh, they got really generous with those two at least. Whew, wow. Let's check out uh, Pipita then. Pipita Iguain 90. 
Wow. Uh, wow, wow, wow. He's probably our best player in uh, Serie A, actually. He must be. 83 in dribbling, 25 in defending. Well, that's... Yeah, that's because it's not his job, actually, to defend. That's why. 74 in physique. Well, I gotta say, uh, I expected a bit higher, actually. 74. 70 in passing. Well, give him a 75 for me. Shooting 87. Oh, that's, that's on point. He is uh, excellent. Uh, pace... 79 well crank it down a bit to at l maximum 75 because uh, 79 mm, yeah no 83 dribbling yeah let's go to Marquisio then Claudio what there he is 85 well uh, he keeps it stable he's he's been at 85 I, I know uh, he was at 85 at least um, last year as well, so now what I'm really excited about is Ben Tanker. He, this is a player who actually has impressed me the most so far this season, except from of course Dybala. 869. Whoa! Now those ratings are gonna go up later this season. I guarantee you that 69 for Ben Tanker. That's way too low. Uh, I'll give him a 75 at least. Um, passing is 66, Phew, I give him 80 straight away, pace 70, physique, well that's 67, it's about right at the moment, defending 56, I'd pump it up a bit as well, dribbling, not so sure about that, he uh, hasn't dribbled that much lately, 70 might be a bit generous, and uh, yeah, 69 is way too low FIFA, way too low. Way too low. Now, Rugani. That would be interesting to see. Daniele Rugani. Still no player found. Why? 80 in uh, for Rugani. Well, pace 61. Okay. Pass 53. 65 at least for me. Uh, defending 83. Granted. Dribbling 64. Yeah, I don't know. 50 maybe. 55. Physique 75, wow. Wait a minute, he's actually stronger than Iguain. Is that true? Is it really true? 60, 74, yeah. Oh, that's strange. That's really strange from FIFA. Anyway, a shooting 39, well, that's about, that's about right. I never see him shoot, actually, so I don't know. FIFA apparently knows more than I do. Just to finish off the vlog, let's check out all the players that we got. Uh, let's see, we go to League, go to Calcio A. I hate that we have Calcio A, not Serie A. Greedy asses. Filter. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, we got informed players, we don't need to have that. Yep, yeah, and there you go, all Juventus players for the moment. And uh, yeah, pretty solid gang actually. Pjanic, 85, uh, well, Physique, 69, Dribbling, 86, Shooting, 70, come on FIFA, Shooting, 70, 80 at least for me, have you seen his free kicks, bump it up, come on, Kedira, 84, well, should be 82, no more, Mandzukic, uh, yeah, well, okay, Gotta give him that, 74 in dribbling, not so sure about that. Azamoat, left back, 78. He has the high skill in dribbling, not so surprising, because he loves to caress this ball. Shooting, 68, okay. Bernardeschi, 82. Yeah, okay, fair enough for me. Douglas Costa, 92 in pace, wow. And the Chiglio at left back for some reason. He can play left and right, and he played right back so far in the Juventus, so I don't know what he's. What are they doing with left back? Quite a good gang, though, huh? I gotta say. We got a lot of 80s out there. Goalkeepers, what about them? Let's see. Uh, Pinsoglio, 69, granted. Uh, 82 for Chesney. Well. It's quite about right, isn't it? I think so. I think so. I think it is. GG as I said at 89. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Let's just check the 
overalls for the whole league. Buffon is actually the best goalkeeper, not so surprising. Andanovic, it's 87. Well, that's okay. That's quite alright. I love them. I love him saving those impossible, impossible shots. And uh, yeah, he does it greatly. And Jose Reina at 83, okay. Consigli at 82. Wow, 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 wow. He's actually better than Skorupski at 76. Skorupski has been probably best goalkeeper last year because of playing for, for Empoli. He almost saved him from relegation. Now he's uh, warming the bench for Roma, but 76 for Skorupski, well, that's just too low in my opinion. Donnarumma's got 82, very well. Now let's take a look at all other players. Uh, just to finish it off, um, let's see, Iguin is the best player, yeah, as I was suspecting, and Chiellini is just behind him, Bonucci at 88, well, <laughs> that rating gonna go down, my friend. Dybala at 88 as well, Hamsik at 87, okay, Miranda, I just don't understand why he's at 86 every time. He's been overrated by FIFA for so long right now, in my opinion. <sighs> yeah, he's still riding that Atlet Atletico Madrid, I suppose, then. Mertens 86, very well. Um, Rajan Angolan 86 as well. Then you have a bunch of Juventus players there. Insignia, look at that hairdo, come on. Remove that as soon as possible. Papu Gomez 84, well that's good news. He deserves every penny of it. Great rating for Papu. Edin Dzeko at 84 and De Rossi at 83. Still De Rossi is being overrated. In my opinion, he needs to be much lower at 81 at the most. And Strutman, look, look at him smiling there. Look at him smiling, that grin right there. No smile at all from that guy. 84 for him. Very well. I, I don't know uh, what to give him, actually. He's, uh, he's pretty adequate on every single rating, so that's why they give him 84. Yeah. You got a bunch of other players here, and Belotti at 83, that's okay. And yeah, wow, Acerbi at 82, now that's surprising. That's actually very surprising. That high for Acerbi, well that's uh, nice for him though. Yep, that's it. If you want to check out all the players for Serie A, go to, Ser er go to easports.com. And uh, check the link there for the ultimate team. You find every rating there. Or of course go into your FIFA 18 um, copy and uh, check it out for yourself in the ultimate team. Now, as for me, I will not be getting that copy this year. I most probably will not because it's just the same every year. In my opinion, it's the same graphics. It's almost the same for Naked Eye. Uh, it's really not not so much different from last year and uh, yeah the only difference is the ratings and of course some different different stadiums some different kits uh, maybe some uh, additions to the commentating but uh, other than that it's just pretty much the same of course the career mode has been improved a lot with uh, with this journey journey stuff from Alex Hunter um, yeah but that's it time to log off now uh, Serie A action next weekend uh, we are up against Lazio Italy, they just faced Macedonia, drew 1-1, deservedly so, they suck, uh, Ventura needs to go, everybody knows that, Tavecchio needs to go as well, he's the one who appointed Ventura, but uh, yeah, that's not the most important thing, the most important thing is Juventus, and they'll be playing against Lazio at the weekend, and we'll do the preview a day before as usual. I will see you then, and I'll get back to the Dark Souls and Sister Frida, Ooh, that's gonna be fun, huh?